Hey there, everyone. Annie here from Forvio, and I'm so excited to welcome you to today's video. We've got some awesome news to share with you. Google has just released their brand new open source MMM Meridian, and guess what? We've already integrated it into the Forvio platform. That means in addition to MetaRobin for marketing mix modeling, you can now choose Google Meridian as your preferred engine. It's all about giving you more flexibility and power when it comes to measuring and optimizing your marketing efforts. Okay, now it's time to jump into the Forvio app and see how we can work with the Meridian engine. Let's start by preparing the data for Google Meridian in the Forvio platform. If you're using native integrations like Facebook ads, Google ads, or Google Search Console, Forvio automatically loads all the key metrics needed for Meridian, so you don't have to worry about manual setup. If you're uploading your own data from a Google Sheet, Snowflake, or BigQuery, just make sure to include a region column. This is essential for Meridian's geomodeling to work properly. Let's take a quick look at a sample Google Sheet to see how it's structured. Here, you can see that an additional column labeled region has been added. All right, now let me show you how to attach those geo data fields to the marketing channel you want to track here in Forvio. First, I'm in the model builder section where I can see a list of all my marketing channels. I select the channel that needs geo data and then click on the dropdown labeled region field. Here, I pick the region column from our data source just like we set it up in the Google Sheet example earlier. If you have reach and frequency data for a selected channel, you can include it in the model by selecting the corresponding column in your data table. Just use the dropdowns for reach and frequency and choose the correct column name. Next, I'll head over to the model settings to choose which data processing engine I want to use for my marketing mix modeling. You'll notice there's a new option now called Meridian alongside the Meta Robin engine. Since we're exploring the new Meridian release, I'll select Meridian. As you can see, AdStock is already set to geometric by default. You also have the option to enable cross validation if needed. Now that everything is set up, we can go ahead and click Run to start the modeling process. To check on the progress, I move over to the job section. Here, I can see the new modeling job actively running. Depending on how big or complex your data is, this might take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. Once it's finished, I can jump straight to the Insights tab to evaluate all the results and see how Meridian performed. Let's start by opening the Solutions tab, where we can evaluate the model's quality. Here, we can check key metrics like confidence intervals, baseline share, R squared, normalized error, and more to see how well the model performed. We should also take a look at the model fit, which you'll find under the model details tab. Here, we can see the predicted versus actual graph, giving us a visual comparison of how well the model aligns with real data. All other insights remain the same as when using the Meta Robin engine. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more content coming soon.